Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring redistribution between two routing protocols. The protocols are RIP version 2 and OSPF. As you can see here, router 1 is going to be using loopbacks 1 through 3 in the 192.168 range. And on router 1, I'm going to be running strictly uh, RIP version 2. Um, on router 3, I'm going to be using loopbacks 1 through 3 as well and they're all going to be in the 10 network and I'm going to be running OSPF on router 3 and on router 2 is where I'll be performing the mutual redistribution between the two routing protocols. So I'm going to go ahead here and get started. What I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up the routers and then we'll go into uh, you know setting up the routing protocols I'll start on router 1 and router 3 and then I'll you know finish up on router 2 performing the mutual redistribution and so what we're going to be seeing here is how these two routing protocols interact with each other uh, you know, and how you, you know, wor will perform uh, redistribution correctly uh, between these two routing protocols. Um, as you, as you know, RIP version two uh, <coughs> finds its best way around the network using, you know, uh, hop count, and OSPF uses uh, a metric of uh, it uses bandwidth and some other um, some other things to find its best path around the network so uh, what you're going to see here when we redistribute between these two um, routing protocols is we're going to have to set some values uh, specifically um, as we redistribute into one <coughs> excuse me metric values between one routing protocol into the another so let's go ahead and get into router one here first We'll go ahead and configure the interface to router 2, which is interface FA00. Again, the IP address between router 1 and router 2 are going to be 172.16.12. Then router 1 is going to be dot 1. And router 2 is going to be dot 2. We can go ahead and do the loopbacks as well. I think 192.168.1.1. I'm sorry, that was, <clears throat> uh, let's see, do a no interface loopback zero. Let's do interface loopback one with the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.1. And then interface uh, loopback two. Okay, so router one should be, <coughs> if I do a show IP interface brief here, we should see that all our IP addressing should be complete. Uh, now what we want to do is configure RIP version two. So we're just going to do router RIP. Uh, we're going to specify version two. Version two will allow us to, to use the subnet uh, information, pass the subnet along in the routing updates, as well as some other information. Uh, but that's basically the, um, the big advantage of running version 2. Uh, version 2 is uh, classless, <coughs> version 1 is classful. So we'll also do a no auto summary. So we won't summarize at the uh, network boundaries. Um, now here we want to specify the network we want to run rip, rip over. And we'll do 172.216.0.0. And then network 192.168.1.0.2. Uh, 
2.0 and .3.0. <clears throat> so now if I do a show IP protocols, you can see here, you can just verify what networks you're running RIP on. Uh, as you can see here, writing protocols RIP, uh, it shows the interface in which RIP is running, uh, version 2 on. Also, it's giving you the networks that you're routing RIP on uh, for RIP on. So, as you can see here, everything looks uh, normal. We're going to go ahead and go to router 3. Actually, let me get in the router too real fast. 